Ah, <sighs> that was actually a really nice touching scene. I will say that. Okay, this is new. This is new. This is freaking new. Boobs, 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 and boobs, 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 boobs everywhere. This isn't too itchy, is it? No. And I'm not scrubbing too hard. The hell is that? Oh, it's one of those little visor things to stop from shampoo and soap getting into your eyes and all that. It's fine. Huh? Ethel, does Karin always wash her hair for you? I get shampoo in my eyes, but I do it myself. Fair enough. I that that make that makes sense with the visor. You're not a kid, you know. Sometimes people need help. Holy cow, you're skinny. Like a little too skinny, don't you think? Well, she was made for killing all that though, and that's all she knew how to do, so it only makes sense for her to be skinny. Indeed. Seeing her like this, she seems quite delicate. <laughs> Clearly you haven't seen Yandere freaking <laughs> freaking Yandere at Ethel. Until she met all of you, Ethel treated eating as a simple mechanical process. She just ate the bare minimum she needed to survive. Makes sense. I never thought of anything as tasty until lately. Yeah. Uh, you never really notice those things when you're being programmed to kill things, so yeah, it makes sense. Meals were just a necessity. My only duty was to fight. Yeah, yeah, I just said that. If that's true, then I'm sure moving forward you will find all sorts of different things to start liking. That's true. Food, clothes, people? I pray you'll become fond of many different things. I hope so too. Why are you talking like that? Because she cares. I mean, it's only natural to want your friends to be happy, right? See? We all care. We all care about you being happy. And so does Karin. I don't consider you my friends. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> don't worry. She's just embarrassed. That's good. Hey, Tiara. Why don't you come over here and we can wash each other's backs? Hmm? I don't particularly mind, but... Okay, then get on over here. Here comes a splash! <laughs> oh, it's this scene again. Your skin is so beautiful. It glows like a pearl. And your boobs are the perfect size and shape, too. Oh, I see where this is going now. It's different than what, what it was before. Like, they were arguing about who had the better body and all that. Now... Oh, God, this is gonna get awkward. <gasps> Please stop touching me there! Now, now, it's nice to have some quality time with just us girls. It's gonna get awkward, isn't it? Wow, the nape of your neck is beautiful, too. And your hair is so shimmery and sparkly. You shouldn't say nape. Fucking, you never know. Aaron Yeager might pop out and make shout TITANS! Or something like that. I don't know. Hang on, watch. When is season two supposed to come out of that? Wait, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. Wait a moment. It seems rather strange for you to excessively praise me like this. Oh gosh, you caught on. You must have heard my conversation with Fang and came here to console me. Uh, actually, I think it's kind of the opposite. I've I think she's just trying to maybe get on your good side maybe a little bit, or maybe try to get you away from Fang, maybe, because she's jelly! Or maybe she's trying to help you get closer to Fang. Uh, you caught me. Mind your own business. I am not so sad that I need to be consoled by the likes of you. Lovely. <laughs> you flat-chested busybody. Huh? Flat-chested? Are you serious? Oh, here we- yeah, this is what I was waiting for. My boobs are way bigger than yours are. Yeah, we're back to where this is going originally. Oh my. Are we looking at the same chest? Mine are clearly three times the size of yours. It's yeah, bigger. That's true. Mine are bigger. No, mine are bigger. I know this is not a real woman thing, but if, if I ever found out that this actually was a real woman thing, then this would make it so much sense. <laughs> Aaron, can you promise me something? Anything. If for some reason, the vile god's blood begins to stir within me. What's with the fucking Revo? I just realized. Is it supposed to be like an outside outside echo thing going on? Because there's like an open door thing? It's all just reminds me of the fucking Sino HD collection and no one wants to remember that thing. What? Please kill me. Yep, I... I should have guessed that that was going to be the answer. Oh well. Y'all might die sooner than, sooner than I think. What are you talking about? If you really want to die so badly, kill yourself now! Right now! What the fuck? If you can't do that, then live. Live and fight. Ah. I was, I was actually a little bit worried that I thought, I thought that jealousy was actually just gonna go, Fucking kill yourself so I can fight for myself and all I'm thinking. Oh, oh, this just got weird. You're the only one who can fight the vile god's blood that's inside you. Well, unless 
she gets captured by Sherman, then that's when you need to start worrying. You are right. I'm sorry I even asked. It's okay. Just don't ever talk about dying again. Got yeah. it? You might make Fang, Fang upset. Yes, I understand. All right, it's best time. What's the matter? <gasps> what the hell? Oh, right. Wait, what? Did he go in the wrong bathroom? I don't want to see that. See what? Ow! Oh. I was one a towel, you bitches. You couldn't have seen it anyway. It was only for towel. Ah, women are terrible. For all of them, though. Don't you think Lola should know where the faith drop is by now? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I've been hit in the head with a fucking bucket. I've got a bit of a concussion thanks to you two. Yeah, you're right. She definitely owes us for selling bad information. You are right about that one. We need our money back. Let's see if she'll cut us a deal. Hey, why is everyone wearing bunny ears? Please? That's Karin, it's a hobby. Oh my, is that so? Aren't they cute? Girls are the cutest when they're wearing animal ears. I'm trying to figure it. She made ever wear some other type type of animal ears before. Yeah, those were cute too. So cute. It looks somewhat happy. But I don't get how animal ears make girls the cutest. What are they based on? What are you basing it on? Ethel, not cute? No, that, no, that's not what I'm saying! Aw, oh, poor thing. She looks so disappointed. Come now, tell her that she's cute. <laughs> Ethel, you're cute. Ah, oh, this is so embarrassing! Why do I gotta say this? Ah, he snapped! I never said she wasn't cute, so don't treat me like a- Don't treat me like the bad guy! Then Ethel is cute? Like I said, I can't really deny that. <sighs> Honestly, Fang, you should be ashamed of yourself. I can't believe you're unable to properly tell a girl that she is cute. Fang, you treat g girls bad. But what? Even Neville's giving me the business. I'm disappointed in you, Fang. Come on, just leave him behind. Damn it, why am I being treated like some kind of jerkwad? God damn it! What? I thought you were doing your job! Does this faith drop even exist at all? If it does, I'm bound to hear about it eventually. Maybe it doesn't exist because of the singularity. Maybe there's only one faith drop in the entire fucking time span thing, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But I do have some other nice information. A cash reward is being offered to anyone who slays this monster. Pass! No, that's fine. I'll come back later. Pass! Not do that again! Man, we're in a bind. If Lola doesn't know where it is, I don't know how we're supposed to find it. There is another tower we could check out. What? Oh, uh, uh, why? Oh, yeah. Fuck, I forgot about that. Uh, oh, no, I may have spoiled something. Well, not really. There is another tower we need to go to, actually. I think it's like. There is three of them, I think. I'm thinking that if even a fairy that specializes in gathering intel has no idea, it might be hidden in a very special place. Wait, hold on, you know that- wait, hold on a second, do you know that actually Lola's a fairy? Wait, wait, hold on a minute. Why would you say that exactly? I'm thinking that even if a fairy that specializes in Gavin- Oh shit, I may have just bought some by accident. Oh god, this is fucking awkward. God damn, I really don't read things that well, I'm stupid. Fairy? What are you talking about? Huh? What? <laughs> yeah, I'm really confused too, what's going on? I get it. Never mind, pretend you didn't hear that. Wait, you know that she's a fairy! You just spoiled it! You fucking spoiled it! Anyway, why don't we try going to the inverted tower? Down the there we go, the inverted tower. Let's get back on that topic. The inverted tower? Yeah, the subterranean tower and the inverted tower were supposedly built long ago by a wise and ancient civilization. Okay, let's go over there right now then. It's theorized that this civilization's wisdom came directly from the goddess. Really now? Which means both structures functioned as shrines where they would worship the goddess. Yeah, I already know that. Let's just move on to the- let's just go there right now. Gotcha. So, if we're looking for treasure that's connected to the goddess, odds are we'll find it in a place like that. Exactly. Let's go over there right now. Huh? This conversation feels strangely familiar to me. 
Really? That's right. Before we traveled back to the past, I got some of my memories back at the subterranean tower. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, it's true. Oh, yeah, that's it. So this time, we have to go to the inverted tower. Let's move. That somehow makes somewhat sense, actually, funny enough. Alright, so I got myself a new Fury, and this is the last Fu this is the last A Fury, A A gr A rank Yeah, god damn it. A rank Fury on the goddess side, and then I have to put four more on the Vio God side, then I'll be pretty much done. Except I need two more, I need the S ones. Which then I'll be finished doing all the God revivals. And also, like I said, like I, I haven't shown off any of them where they are or not though, but you can figure that out for yourself, because it's mainly just done by some events by speaking to Lolo and stuff like that. It's not very hard and all that though, and you can get some from the subterranean. No, the Shukeshu, Shukeshu's Tower and all that as well, by going up particular floors and all that though, and you'll get ones. So let's get down to business and get this Fury unlocked. Let's make this interesting. Oh no, robots! Kill them all! I didn't kill them all! Try harder! No, it didn't work! Try harder! No, it didn't work! Try harder! There we go. Done. That was easy. Let's see. Let's remove that sword from here. Now you have more room now to move your legs! Now it's just one more sword in your freaking chest and you'll be free. You'll be finally free to breathe. That looks like it hurts. Like, really hurts. Kinda weird though, like, so the rest of so the- What, like, the rest of that Christmasation was just nothing? It, wait, hold on a bit. I thought this was supposed to be like some kind of armor, so we're moving it, but moves a bit of the armor, and all I, all I got from her was just a freaking Boobs and- a Little area around there. And like, the mask. Really weird. Oh well, but whatever. Let's go down to business. Aaron, do you remember anything? You better, because otherwise we've just come to this invert tower for nothing. Hmm. Well, let's go inside for now. Okie dokie then. You heard her, guys. Let's go. All right, invert tower. Let's get down to business. Looks like this is a dead end. I don't think it's a dead end. I mean, why are we come all the way here for a dead end? So people used to worship the goddess here, eh? <laughs> You feel like I should be wearing nicer clothes or something. It's fine, don't worry about it. More importantly, where the hell is that damn faith drop? I don't know, it's somewhere around here. Mind your tongue, you ungrateful swine. This is a holy sight. Eh, who cares? Used to be, now it's just filled with monsters. Aaron, where the heck is that damn faith drop? <laughs> where the heck is that damn faith drop? Oh, for that, that's not good enough. Wait, you found it? You fucking found it! Interesting. That does seem like an obvious place to hide something. Yeah, but we need to be careful though, there might be something around here. I mean, how most RPGs go, there's usually a boss around the corner. Alright, let's hurry up and grab it so we can go home already. Yeah, let's do that! Uh, wait a second. What's the matter? What, what is it? What the hell's going on? This is a trap! Oh no, a trap! Who could have seen that coming? Jeez, I tried to tell you to be careful. I had a bad feeling about this. You know, you should have been a bit more, I don't know, obvious about that. This always happens when you rush into things. Who cares? We need to grab the faith drop and get out of here. Let's go! You do love to rush, Fang. Shut up, Godo! Shut up! That was totally on purpose. I love traps. Can't get enough of them. Yeah, we need more traps to keep us going. That's clearly a lie. Shut up, Holly! Hey, hey, be careful. Something's coming. Uh, it's just a monster. It's fine. We can take it. What the hell? What the heck? Aaron? I'm right here. Not just you. There's more. Ah! Oh, wow. Three fairies. Can I take one of them? I wouldn't attempt that. These fairies look rather... Displeased to see us. Yeah. You seek the power of the goddess. Such power is beyond mortal comprehension. The fuck is going on? Insolent fools will not be forgiven. This place shall become your tomb. What the hell's going on? Oh, I get it. It's like a defense system designed to wipe out anyone foolish enough to try to take the goddess's power. Well, but tough. Why do they all look like Aaron? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh no, is Aaron like a god? It's like a god um, thing. Thanks for the boob close up. I really enjoy that. Let's do this. What we got? Aaron clone Nihil 
Aaron Clone Dream and Aaron Clone Illusion. What the fuck is Knee Hill? What the hell is that supposed to mean? <sighs> Whatever. I'm gonna go and look it up that I finish this, but I'm gonna quickly just kill these fucking bitches first. Get out of the way, you fakes! Yeah, there would be damage detected though, but guess what though? I'm gonna be that kind of guy who just fucking destroys your shit. Don't take it personally, it's just my job. I should get, I should get all three of them. Oh wait, wait, I better went for that one. There we go. More damage! More bullets! It did, some, did something. Oh, I really wish I had a better move for Harley. Oh wait, I kind of do. It's the freaking. Oh well, never mind. I can pack one. There we go. That was fun. Yeah, of course we won. We defeated them somehow. Where the hell are we now? Those things were stubborn, annoying, and totally not cute at all. No wonder they look like Aaron. Wow, that's mean. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? What? It was a compliment. Look at your wings in a bunch. Anyway, where's that treasure? Well, where are we? Well, we got the fifth draw, that's good. Is this it? Yeah, this is it, but I'm more concerned about where the hell are we? This wasn't the tower before. Yes, that's the fifth drop. Hmm, so now that we have this, we can finally perform the ritual to revive the goddess. That is correct. For now, let's head back. Okay, let's do that then. That sounds like fun. Oh god, no. No, not again. Not Dorfer again. You summon me, Lord Sherman? Is he pissed? It seems Mariana was defeated and scurried back to us with her tail between her legs. Her loyal minion was not so fortunate. Yes, that is true. Yes, last I heard she was undergoing medical treatment. Kill her. This means I'm the last heavenly czar standing. Since it all comes down to me, even if it cost me my life. Spare me. I haven't expected anything from you since the moment we met. Yeah, no one expects anything from you, Pyga. You are a complete coward and a wuss. Agreed, Commander Sherman. However, even someone like him may prove useful in advancing our cause. I'm gonna take a gander that you mean you're gonna use him as some kind of distraction. In the hands of a clever man, razors and fools have their uses. That's so a. They say. That's a very interesting. Uh, abbreviate. What's an abbreviation? Whatever that is. Idiom, I guess. Ah, I've heard that saying before. Um, am I supposed to be the razor or the fool? What do you think? Figure that out for yourself. In the meantime, I will tell you the details of our plan. The plan is to summon the Vile God. Yes, of course. You will do as I say. Sephiroth commands you to do what he says. Well. Their plan must be coming along really well then. Things have really taken a turn for the worse. Oh, really? What gave that away? Are you sure you're going to be all right? I mean, a sniveling coward like you. Shut up. You be quiet. Whoa, you've got some backbone now. Uh, he hello. Uh, hi, sweetie. It's Daddy. Uh, can you pass the phone to Mommy? Is that you, Setsuko? I just wanted to tell you that I love you. Damn, dude, you went serious. The sun may set, and the moon may wane, but my love for you remains ever constant. I am, and always will be yours. Forever. Goodbye. Whoa. Dude went serious. That was pretty cool of you. Looks like you've made up your mind. But if you really love your wife that much, you don't have to go through with this, you know. What do you mean? You could always abandon the company. Hmm. She has got a very good point. I mean, you could do that. Run away from the company, don't get involved with it, take your family away from this whole thing, start a new life in the though. I mean, it sounds like a good idea. What, what, what's going on? What is it, Kiwi? Did something happen? Did Tiara run away? Uh... Tiara? Uh... Your eyes look more vacant than usual. In fact, they look like Sherman's eyes. Oh god. Uh, hey Tiara, what happened to you? This is the wrong music to play right now. Who picked this song is an idiot. Uh Oh. Fairy who possesses the blood of the goddess. That boy. 
voice. It can't be. Die. This is bad. Tiara's consciousness has been taken over by the vile god. What am I supposed to do? Get Fang and run. Now to finish this. Place, you wicked creature. Oh god damn it, they're both being possessed now. And I wanna get enough both the eyelashes like oh I eyelashes have kind of changed colors, but hers has turned purple and hers is now grey. You the goddess is inside you. Be gone. Hey, what's going on out here? Oh now you're back to normal. This is what have I Looks like Tiara's back to normal. That's a relief. But that- wait, no, that's not a relief though. This is bad. She's getting her mind possessed by the Vyra God. That's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. What the hell happened here? Uh, Tiara got possessed. Nothing. We just came outside to get some fresh air. Don't you Isn't talk fucking- Isn't that right, Tiara? Don't you talk fucking bullshit though. Tell him the truth. Y yes. Oh, I never understood this fucking thing. Something happens like, nope, nope, can't tell the main character this. Fucking getting worried and all that though. I hate this trope. I hate this trope. I hate this trope. I hate this fucking trope. I hate it so much and it's annoying. Well, hurry up and get some sleep. Being up this late is bad for your skin. <sighs> yeah, good point. Ah, <sighs> it's morning again. Thank God. Finally, we've collected the Furies, and we have the Faith Drop. Yep, and now we can summon the Goddess. Now, we can perform the ritual to revive the Goddess. Right, Tiara? Yes. Excuse me, Mr. Fine. It seems you have a guest. I have a guest? A guest? But I was just about to leave. Wait a minute. This is Piger, isn't it? Help me! Yep. Go to figure. You're with Dorfa. Isn't he one of the four heavenly czars? Yes. Why would he come all the way here? Probably because he's gonna do something despicable and evil. Wait, is this another ambush? Ah, uh, no, he's a coward. He wouldn't do something like that. That's not it. I came here alone. I have no intention of fighting any of you. Okay, fair enough. We don't have time to fight you anyway. Not when Dorfa's hunting us down. Oh, really now? Did you find- Oh, you decided to run. Let me guess. Dorfa finally got sick of your screw-ups and you ran away before they could tie up any loose ends. That sounds about right. That does sound like something Dorfa would do. That's right. That's right! Yes, yes, that's, that's definitely it. Hold it. Are you really going to believe his story? We have no reason to trust him. True, but he's also a coward, though. I'm well acquainted with this man. You can't trust a word he says. Yeah, I, and, and second thought, yeah, I, I have to probably agree with Apollonius. Maybe because I don't want Apollonius to maybe think I'm evil. I'm telling the truth! I've already been declared an enemy of Dorfa! Why am we heard about it then? I'll prove it to you by showing you where Dorfa's vulnerable. Please, you have to defeat them. Dorfa's vulnerable? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Where they're vulnerable? I don't get that. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Yes, Dorfa has a secret storage facility hidden within the Zapelia Valley. What the fuck do they have a secret? Why do they have like a storage area in a freaking valley? Like, don't you think they would have it maybe, I don't know, close by maybe? Why so far away? A secret storage facility in the Zapelia Valley, huh? 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 That enemy? Striking the dark, huh? What a cheap tactic. Time to lose some payback. Wait, uh, Evel? What are you doing up this lit? Hey, well, why are you in my bed? You know what this scene looks like? I just realized this scene looks... It looks like one of those generic freaking visual novel things. You know like with the you know like with the main character's face is kind of like... Not colored at all, so it like kind of makes it more like you and they give like some kind of an appearance. And like they always do this like so for like... A love interest and all that, though. Why? Like, why? Why do that? Why? Fang. Why? I'm fucking confused. Hey, what are you in my bed for? Mm. 
Whoa, hey, don't click to me. Watch against me, like, this, this soft sensation is gonna make me. Wait, you put the moves on me? No, they can't bang. Assess the situation. She came here in the middle of the night, go into my bed, and start and started clinging to me like she wanted to cuddle. I'm trying to stay calm about this, but I. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, she's asleep. Oh, she's sleeping. What the heck, is she half asleep? Phew, totally surprised me. Wake up. It's gonna look really bad for me if you if you fall asleep here. Sleepy. Damn it. Don't sleepy me. Now I'm sleepy. Because I have no choice. I just have to find to kick you out the first thing in the morning. And what happens? Next morning happens and I'm gonna get into trouble. I can already guess the scene right now. I'm particularly well versed in these scenes. I'm in trouble, aren't I? Yep. What the heck are you doing? Uh, sleeping. Huh? Is it morning already? No, thank you, monster! Huh? Ah, oh, Ethel! Oh, yeah, how about last night? Last night? What happened last night? If you wish to defend yourself now, it's your chance. Ethel got away from him. Oh, wait, Ethel, get away from him. Okay. Aw, oh, you poor baby, you must have been so scared. Wait, you guys, this is just one big misunderstanding. I haven't done anything inappropriate. Her clothes are in shambles, and you two were sleeping in the same bed. How could you call that a misunderstanding? No, her clothes are just messed up because she kept moving around while, while she was sleeping. Ah, oh, there you are, Ethel. It seems she mistook this, this for her room while she was half asleep. I'm sorry if, I, if she caused any trouble. How do you know... How do you do something about, about this? How about you do something about this trouble I'm, I'm written right freaking now? Are you ready? Ready? Wait, hold on. Like I said, I... No excuses! But you told me to defend my strong! As we collect the furies, I've noticed that some... That the same rumor keeps cropping up. Rumor? The one about you, how you wish will be granted once you retain a fury, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Thanks to that room where I was blind, blinded by greed and pulled up this fury. You only agreed to be offensive afterward because you nagged me. Don't say that, you make it sound like a pest. Whether or not everyone is really a pest, is, the, is that rumor really true? Did your wish come true once you retain a fury? Mm, I'm not really sure. Also, I, don't call me a pest. If that, room, if that rumor was true, there'd be no reason to revive the goddess in the first place. Isn't a fairy supposed to know this sort of thing? Not my fault that humans made up a city room without us fairies knowing. Then, then isn't a made-up story? I can't really say that either. What the heck? You don't sound very com you don't sound very confident. You guys seem like you're having an interesting discussion. Yo, Holly. If I can speak freely, I think that rumor about your wish being granted once you have the fury is both true and false. What does that mean? Even one fury contains immense power, so it might be possible for it to grant a wish. However, the scope of the wish must be taken into consideration. For example, a wish to cure disease could be granted, but it wouldn't bring the dead back to life. A wish to take first place in martial arts contests might come true, but a wish to rule the world won't. That's pretty much it. I see, I understand now. You know, after hearing that, I've come up with a brilliant idea. I'm so smart that I scare myself sometimes. I can only imagine how stupid this is going to sound. It's impossible to use the Fury be to become billionaires. We could use it to, l to earn lots of money at a casino. I'm going to go find a casino right now. I knew you were going to say something stupid. Someone stop this idiot. All right, got myself a new Fury, and I will say this right now that I may have screwed up an event. Like, it's an event where you get to choose about which, um, which heroine you want to end up being with at the end of the, of the goddess route, but I won't spoil it, but to be fair though, I feel like that's probably a good idea then, so I won't, it won't spoil what ending I've got though, so I'm just gonna say this right now, you either have, there's an event that happens where you either have to talk to two of the main heroines, I guess you can, t guess you can guess who they are, who they are, so you either talk to either Tiara or Eren, and so at the end of the game, you'll see what, what, what which character I picked, because I, I kind of screwed up my my fault, because I thought it was just some random event by accident. 
I'm stupid, I should really think about these things ahead of time. <laughs> anyway, let's get down to business and revive this freaking fairy while we're at it. Should have probably explained what doing battle, let's but who cares? Interesting. Oh, these things are decently strong. Heal them all. Oh, that's a heal. No, I don't want to heal. Okay, we almost defeated them all. There we go. Phew, that was close. Alright, let's pull out this thin thing's neck. There we go, then we got another fury with a neck thing. Alright, let's go and let's go ahead into that freaking place that freaking Pyga says we should go to. I'm pretty sure it has useful information there. So you found the gold emblem, I expect as much from you. Now please, accept this fury. Alright, thanks! I have one more final fury with me. I'll give you it to I'll give it to you once you found the last emblem. Just leave it to me. I got some weird alien thing. I bet I'm gonna revive it. Whatever stat thing I get, it's gonna be decent enough. We need some S stuff though. I'm nearly finished. I almost finished all the Furies, so this so hopefully when I get down to doing the other routes, it's gonna be super easy. Alright, let's quick let's revive Fauna or Fawn or whatever his name is. Looks like some weird kind of alien tree thing. I don't know what it is, but it's weird looking. Let's get him over and done with. Let's then we can finally move on to taking yeah, care right. of Pyga, which I'm guessing his stuff is a bunch of bullshit. I'm ready. Which wouldn't surprise me though, because Pyga's an asshole. It's just like flying kind of sudden twat who just like wants to protect his family, which I don't blame him. I mean, it's a normal set, it's a normal set sentiment, sentiment to do that. But he, he could have done it an easier way instead of working for Dorfa. I mean, come on, dude. Think about this, man. Think about what you're doing. I mean, you got a wife and kids. You got to think about these things. All right, almost done. I got like two more there, and I just gotta get the S ones, and then I'm pretty much done with these things. Let's go and see Pyga. That storage facility better be here. Otherwise, we're gonna kick you off this cliff that looks exactly like Boy Valley. It is. It's located in the depths of this valley. Looking up this valley is only like one level, which is a great, which is fantastic. I don't have to do that much looking. Every record of Dorpa's unethical business practices has been stored there in pristine condition for generations. You know, what you just said, okay, literally blows your cover completely on this whole thing because you wouldn't put something like that out in the middle of nowhere. If that information leaked to the public, Dorfa's stock would plummet and they'll be forced to file for bankruptcy. Yeah, okay, and what's the freaking point with that though? I mean, to be fair though, they can always restart again by when they get the Vile God revived and all that though, so technically this is kind of... That's kind of like a mild, it's like a trip. It's like they just tripped on a br- like a- like just, like, just like a small trip that they've only just got like a bruise on the leg. That's not gonna do anything if they revive the Vile Guard. This this, this is nothing. This is just crap. I don't know about you guys, but I still don't trust him. Really? Who was trusting him? I agree. Men like him have no qualms about telling self-serving lies. Sounds about right. <laughs> Looks like you're not very trustworthy, Paiga. You blame us? Shut up! You're one to talk! Even if he's lying, it's fine. If there's a trap waiting for us, we'll just beat the crap out of Paiga. <laughs> I like that. Agreed. I follow the warrior's path. If a trap awaits us, I'll face it head on and crush it. Nice one, dude. We're so close to performing the ritual to revive the goddess. There's no way I'd let Dorfa stop us now. Yeah, we're like... About this much, like a smidge, like 1% away from doing that. It's just Dorva that gets in the way. Let's go! Let's do this! Let's go and get to the end! So, aren't we in the deepest part of Zapelia Valley right now? Yep, that's where we are right now. Well, where's the secret storage facility you've been yammering about, eh? <laughs> it never existed. And now, this place will become your grave. Yeah, you don't sound very intimidated at all, and also we already knew that. Whoa. What's that sound? Landslide. There really was a trap awaiting us. Really? How did we not see this coming? I knew he was lying! Yeah, we all know that. <laughs> That's right. I've been leading you into a trap this whole time. I thought maybe you would run away from Dorfer and become good, but I guess that's wrong. One press of this button was all it took. This place is going to collapse any minute, and soon you'll all be crushed to death. Jesus Christ, that's a bit dark. Hey, they don't look too surprised about this. Well, it was really obvious. Yeah, extremely obvious. Hey, if you stand so close to us, 
Won't you get crushed too? That's a good point. <laughs> Fools. Lord Sherman has promised to teleport me to safety using a return wing. Why don't you have a return wing? But Sherman doesn't seem like the type of person who would do that. Yeah, I know. He's like, he'd probably just leave you hanging. <laughs> yeah. He'd totally send a useless peon to their death and not think twice about it. He has no regard for those weaker than him. Much like how I used to be. He definitely wouldn't lose any sleep over sacrificing one of his minions. Ah, uh, you guys totally nailed it. Pika is definitely expendable. I just wanted to let that play out. It was just perfect. Everyone's just dissing Pika. It's just really funny. Uh, uh, please excuse me. <laughs> Nobody make a move or I'll press this button again. Why don't you press the button again? Now. You guys just stay where you are while I move to a safer position. You do guys we can follow you. I don't think so. Kiwi! <laughs> Whoa, what the Oh no, the button! When did that creature get behind me? Uh maybe if you're paying attention, you may have noticed the little fur ball behind you. While you were monologuing, I had my fairy sneak behind your back. Your luck ends here. Yeah. Nice one, Tiara. Awesome! Oops, I should have known something like this would happen. Well, I think anyone would have known that. Damn it! How dare you trick me! You know, dude, honestly, you really could have just ran away and take, taken your family somewhere else and had like a start a new life thing. You did this to yourself. I could say the same for you. Looks like the trickster got tricked this time. Sounds about right. Leading us into a trap isn't even original. I mean, Mariana already tried that, so it's not like we weren't expecting this. True, very true indeed. That's why I didn't really care one way or another if this turned out to be a trap. Yeah, but did we leave anything back at the inn? I mean, that could be a reason. Damn you! I'll just have to defeat you with my true power! Vivian, let's go! Oh, time to fight the last guy. Oh, brother. I guess I have no choice. When you, like, go on about saying that you really look, you really want to fight, and now you're just getting, oh, fuck, I don't want to. What happened? Are you, are you going to have mood swings and... Pyga, what the hell? You look sick, man. Why haven't you been fighting? I mean, come on, man. I mean, pop the little mouse in here, you kind of you look really dope. Looks the kind of a little bit like War Greymon. Like, that's not exaggeration. What the... Dude, you look like fucking War Greymon. What the fuck? Are you War Greymon? I could have sworn you look like War Greymon. Who gives a shit? Time to fight you. Let's do this. Brace yourself. Yeah, you do this and that, but it ain't gonna help you. Let's go, eh? Let's just finish him off real quick. No escape, eh? He has got a lot of health though, so that's not really helpful. There we go. Ow, he Oh, he's actually able to do damage to us. Interesting. Good to hear. Good to know that I'm not gonna be extremely overpowered now. Oh, let's heal. Use the Range heal, just heal up people in range. My there we go. Turn. Oh wait, I didn't hear that fang. Shit. Oh well. Uh, use lunatic rush. Dance. Lunatic dance. Go yonder, Ray. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Let's do this. Well, I'm pissed. Time to kill this mouse fucker. Oh. Oh. Combo oh. dance. Oh. Sword dance. Oh. New data. Blast him. Man, that's just a lot of damage. There we go. For the sake of Dorfa. No, for the sake of my family, I can't lose. But you will. Let's do. I'm in a hurry. Whoa, speed slash. Prepare yourselves. Ow. Damn. Let's go, eh? That did some. That actually did some damage. Well, I ain't gonna stop Fang though. Heal. There we go. Yourself. I hope you're ready to die because this is what's gonna happen. I'll do Missed. Do a shot. This is. This can't be. This can't be. Uh, yeah, it is. You're gonna lose. I have to use my special move now. I thought you just did. My turn. I literally thought you did. Anyway, let's try some of Tiara's new moves. I got her. I didn't really do much, but I did something. Up we go. And take this. Let's do this. All right, Fang. Blow him away. That's so awesome, that. I'm in a hurry. You doing it again? That's not cool, bro. Think of something else. No escape, eh? Wow. 
Whoa, go, you're missing. Yeah, you probably need a breather after you get your ass hand to you. Probably, yeah, you're dead. I'll blow his beat you. Sorry, bro, but we have stuff to do. Now then, looks like we're done here. That seems to be the case. Please spare my life. I have a smoking hot wife and an adorable little girl. Uh, okay, fair enough. That's right. Killing him isn't worth the trouble at all. Fine, whatever. I'll spare your life. Just hurry up and get the hell out of here. Just leave me alone. Don't ever show your face around us again. Agreed. For your sake, I hope our paths never cross again. Bye, Piger. Probably never see you ever again until I have to replay through the game again and get to another route. You might as well quit, Dorfa. Then you won't be forced to do suicide missions like this. Yeah, Gordo's got a really good point. That may be true. But I still need a job so I can provide for my lovely wife and cute little girl. Well, you're just gonna have to find a new job somewhere else. Yep, you're gonna have to do that. After all, I'm gonna bring down Dorfa for good. Yep, they aren't gonna do anything else for, for a while after I beat them up. Ah, understood. I'll quit Dorfa and never bother you again. Good, that sounds like a plan. I'll move somewhere far away and live a happy life with my wife and daughter. You should have done that to begin with instead of try firing us. Hey! Don't leave me here! Jeez, all he did was waste our time. What a drag. Yep, that is the problem with stuff like this. But, then again though, we wouldn't have been able to get a lot of XP and, and, and weapon points. So I guess at the end of the day, we did- wait, this was a waste of time then. SHIT! Huh? Sherman. Oh, good. The time has come. Let's settle this once and for all, Fang. Oh God, it's Death himself. I know exactly how you feel. Ever since I met you, I knew I'd end up fighting you one day. Fine, I'm gonna fucking kick his ass right now. He ain't strong at all. Likewise. Fate is such an unpleasant thing. Once I've severed these chains of destiny, I will finally be free. You know what I find really strange? I feel like the dialogue for this is really kept over from the original game, and some things were added to it though, but they never changed the dialogue to fit around the new dialogue. So it's getting really to the point, and it's getting, it's getting to the point where I'm getting so confused of why some things are different, and yet they don't bother changing the full script. It's, it, it's weird, and I don't understand. Do it, Bang! I'll help you out too, eh? No, go away, I'll do it myself. This man is the heart of Dorfa. Strike him down and their plans will fall to ruin. Really now, is that how it works? Back off. I want to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Finally! No, I want to actually fight him! We're not gonna cinematic. What?! Bang! Are you- Fang, are you for real? Are you literally for real right now? Bang! Why did you hold back? Wait. Fang, you're holding back? I... I didn't! Yes, you did. Your sword contained no malice. Why is that? Were you trying to show me mercy? How humiliating for both of us! Fang, seriously, you really don't want to keep him alive. He's evil right now. Who gives a damn he was good at one point? He's just evil. I lost. Stop complaining and just kill me already. What the fuck's wrong with you, Fang? Are you trying to shame me? If I cut you down now... It would do little more than sully my reputation. I'll withdraw for now. Your defeat must be nothing short of glorious. Until that day comes. Jesus Christ, Fang, what the hell? <laughs> Are you kidding me, Fang? Really? God damn it, that sucked. God damn it, Fang. When Sherman was our ally, his honorable side was an asset. But now that he's our enemy, it's really messing things up. No, it's not. Honestly, it's really not. I'm not seeing a problem here. All of you just freaking find an excuse just not to kill him. He's killing innocent people. He's gonna bring back the Vio God. What the fuck's the problem? You're pathetic. Didn't you say you would protect me? How is showing mercy to your enemies supposed to accomplish that? Yeah, I don't get that either, Fang. What the fuck's the problem? It's delusional to think you can revive the goddess by acting so childish. You don't have to be so harsh, Diara. <laughs> Don't be such a meanie. Silence. 
No one is talking to you. <sighs> How much longer are you going to stay depressed? Are you nothing more than a sniveling eunuch? Shut up! I can put up with your bitching, but now you've gone too far! Next time I fight Sherman, I'll take it more seriously and wipe the floor with him. Even reviving the goddess will be super easy. Wow, that, that was... Bang, you did like a full 180. You're back to normal stuff again. Easier than raising tadpoles into full-grown frogs. I don't know how that... I never raised tadpoles before, so I don't know how easy that is. You can't really compare frogs to a goddess. Yeah, and... I don't understand the whole... I don't understand the whole tadpole thing. I mean, how... No... I, 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 don't, I don't know anymore. I'm just thinking of reasons to talk, and I have nothing. I'm kind of stupid. Well, the details don't really matter. More importantly, I'm confident that Dorfa will continue their merciless assault against us. We can assume that they'll resort to far more craven tactics than they've been using. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised. Our fight is poised to become more perilous than before. We must prepare accordingly. Yes. Let's go without the goddess right now. So they won't have a time to so they so Dorf won't have a time have time to prepare. Yeah, I know. Let's just hurry up and finish this crap already. Once that's done, I'm gonna be the one who changes your fate, Tiara. That sounds like the thing I know. It was worth sounding so unladylike to cheer you up. Alright, let's go revive the goddess. Yay, let's do it! Let's save the world! Our path is clear. Alright, let's do this! Aaron. We need to go to the goddess's sanctuary first. Yep, we gotta go back to the fucking desert again. Yeah, let's make way for the heart of the Kavari Desert. Let's save the world. <laughs>